Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. In the previous tutorial, we opened the notepad and we wrote some HTML code. We understood the typical structure of any HTML document and we also understood that this indicates the beginning of HTML document, this tag indicates the end of the HTML document. The head tag indicates the beginning of head section and the closing head tag indicates the end of the head section. The body tag indicates the beginning of body section and the closing body tag indicates the end of the body section. It is not necessary that you need to write your code like this only. You can write your code something like this also without any spaces. You can write your code like this also. I am just deleting the spaces. So if you write your code like this, the browser will understand. We know that the tags are easily understood by the browser. Now browser will easily understand, okay, this is the beginning of the HTML document. Here the head section begins, here the head section ends, here the body section begins, here the body section ends, here the HTML document ends. There is no problem, you can write like this also. But we are going to format our HTML document in such a way that anybody can easily understand. Now we know that the opening HTML tag and the closing HTML tag indicate the beginning of HTML document and end of the HTML document. And every HTML document is divided into two sections, the head section and the body section. Body section follows the head section and we also know that head and body section must and should go inside the HTML document. So, we are going to format our HTML code like this. First thing you can see here, we have the HTML document beginning and ending. We know that the head section and the body section go inside the HTML document. Hence, we keep, we indent, we indent the head section one step inside. So all I need to do is I need to press the tab key. Then we know that after the head section, we are going to have the body section. I can write like, write like this also, there is no problem. Now what I do, I actually put the body section down. So if I hit enter and I press the tab key. So you can see that head and the body are now inside the HTML tag. So for head and body tag, HTML tag is the parent tag. Now what I do, I write something like this. If I write like this, we can very easily understand that head and body tags are the child or children of HTML tag. Now HTML tag is the parent tag for head tag and the body tag. Now head tag and body tag are in the same level whereas HTML is one level up. So this will give a more meaning to anyone who wants to understand the HTML code. I can very easily understand this code. You people can also very easily understand that. Okay, here the HTML document begins, here the HTML document ends. And you people can very easily say that the HTML document is divided into two sections one is the body section, another one is the head section. In the head section, whatever I want to write code, I will write here and whatever I want to write in the body section, I write here. And also, uh, you can very easily say that the body tag follows the head tag. Now we understood why we format our HTML document or our HTML code. Now we proceed further and how HTML tags are helpful to perform more operations. Now what I do, I am going to save this file, file, save as, I have to give a file name, I can give any file name, I can give default.html or I can save this file as index, index.html or I can save as first page.html. So this file I am saving with the name as first page and with the extension .html at the desktop. If I save this, you can see that you are going to get here 
a web page. Now I just right click open with the Firefox. Let's see what it sees on the browser. If you see on the browser, there is nothing displayed because nothing we have done in the body section. Now remember that whatever you write in the body section that will get displayed in this white area. Now the head section is going to contain few meta information of your page. Now meta information is the information about the information. Metadata means data about data. Inside the head section or inside the head tag we can write some tags which we can use to set the title of your page or put some meta information of your page. We are going to discuss about meta information later. Now at present in this tutorial I would like to discuss about a tag called as title tag. Uh, when I opened my web page that is first page.html in the browser it has got opened something like this. Here we have a tab there you can see that it is showing the path of my first page.html web page. You can see here the title is the path itself. To set the title for my web page, I can use a tag called as title tag. And that title tag we can write in the body tag also, in the head tag also. But according to the specification, we have to write the title tag in the head section or inside the head tag. As we know that title tag should be inside the head tag, so what I am going to do, I am going to press tab, tab, two times I press the tab, then I am going to use a tag called as title tag. So the title tag is a paid tag. So first I need to write the opening title tag, less than symbol, name of the tag title, then read than symbol. Then I am going to write the closing title tag, B I D L E. In between this, I am going to write a title for my page that is my first web page. So here I have written my first web page. When the browser comes to this tag, it understands that okay, you are telling me to set a title with the name my first page to this current document. So I am going to save this file by pressing Ctrl S or I can go here and say file save. When I come to the Firefox and refresh, you can see that the title of the page is my first web page. You can see that on the title bar, you can see the title set. This is how you can set the title for your page by using the title tag. So the head section or head tag contains the title tag. So for title tag, the parent tag is head tag. For head tag, the title tag is a child tag. Now whatever we write in the body section, here I say hi, html, exclamation mark. Whatever you write in the body section, that is going to be displayed in this white space. So if I save this by pressing Ctrl S or file save, and if I refresh, you can see that I got high HTML displayed here. So now hope you guys have understood how head section is useful, how body section is useful. Now body section is going to contain the actual content or information that you want to display in this area. Whereas the head section is going to contain the title for your web page and some meta information. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we are going to discuss more on HTML. So thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing.